What is up YouTube, it's Cool Story Bro about with the 46 narrative showdown battle and I've been getting a lot of showdown battles in lately. I haven't forgotten about Wi-Fi, I just haven't done it lately, I don't know why. However, I do have one Wi-Fi battle coming up eventually, but enough about that man, enough about that. Look, this team is the team I've used lately and I've been rolling with it. I've been rolling with it and I've not looked back because this team is pretty fun to use. Um. However, this team is in its early stages. I've made several modifications to it over the past week and some change. However, it is pretty good to use. Look, I got like I built this team around Porygon Z. That's why he's up front over there. See him? Porygon Z. Not just any Porygon Z. A really cool one. Special double dancing Porygon Z. I don't know why I said special. Like he's not a special attacker or something. Double dancing Porygon Z. And when I say double dancing, I mean like he has two setup moves on the same set. He's got Nasty Plot, Agility, Thunderbolt, and Ice Beam. It's really good on paper. It's really good on paper, but just like paper, Porygon, 2, Porygon Z is incredibly frail, cannot take hits, and he often dies from me before I can even like pull off a sweep with it, which is the entire goal of this set is to pull off a sweep. And it kind of annoys me for real. Like half the time I get hacked and I take a critical hit that barely lets me live. And I end up dying from life orb recoil. Or I go for the setup move when the dude decides he wants to stay in all of a sudden. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, it eventually made me replace it with Pull Regon 2 as of yesterday. I got Confagrigus here. Physical wall. You know, people aren't sure whether it's the offensive trick room set or not until after they see Willow Wisp. Um, you know, he has knockoff. Knockoff on Confagrigus is a really good move. I'm serious. It's so good. I'm, I'm not even kidding. I got Brobat here. Brobat ended up getting replaced with Haunch Crow several days ago because Brobat, like, even though Brobat is like beastie and you, you, it checks half the meta by spamming Brave Bird. You know, it's not, he's not what this team needs. He's the hero this team does not need, but the team, the, the hero this team deserves. I know I got that statement backwards. I know. Don't, don't judge me, man. <laughs> Um, you know, I end up replacing them with Haunch Crow because, you know, they share the same set of weaknesses, but Haunch Crow is way more threatening and he can sweep. Um, speaking of sweeping, I got Scarf Heracross here. Number one Pokemon at UU, Jolly Scarf Heracross, outspeeds the number of potent threats. Um, I got Umbreon here. Umbreon, you know, especially defensive cleric, he's on like half my teams. And I got Nidoqueen here. Nidoqueen is like my third my tertiary Heracross check next to Brobat and Needle Queen's also an offensive a bulky offensive set with a little bit of HP a little bit of speed and some max special attack modest and has like earth power ice beam fire blast and stealth rock it's, it's pretty dope I like it I like it a lot she's fun to use now this guy Vosti's Blau his name is German for what is blue I'm smart and he said he's built this team around special Sharpedo special Sharpedo is pretty cool actually I mean uh like it's he has it's viable. He has base ninety five special attack, nowhere near as high as his physical attack, but his special move pool has better like stabs. Like he has hydro pump for stab rather than waterfall. And he's got dark pulse and he's got like ice beam, which is way better than ice fang if you're running that on Sharpedo. He's got Miss Magius is probably like the substitute nasty plot set or something. Um Verizion takes those dark moves. It's kind of threatening when you look at my team because uh you know, I mean, I got Brobat here, but other than that, my only other way of beating Verizion is for Cofagragus to burn it, or for uh, Needle Queen to use Ice Beam. But even then, like, if it was the special Verizion set, that's a different set of checks that aren't Brobat. You know what I'm saying? And, um, he's got Rhyperior here. It's obviously a Stealth Rock user. Um, it's probably a defensive one. I'm pretty sure he's not running, like, any attack EVs on it. And if he is, uh... Oh, well, uh, <laughs> he's got Zatsu here, Magic Bounce user, pretty annoying. He's got Frostlass here. Frostlass sets up spikes for his team. Spikes are very detrimental in helping Pokemon like Sharpedo sweep because they always strip away your health and spikes are like crazy in you, you. But anyway, enough rambling. Let us begin. So I lead off with Queen Latifah. He leads off with Frostlass right away. He goes for the Taunt Predicting Stealth Rock. I go straight for the Earth Power. And I get disabled because of Cursed Body. So now I switch in Bro Badge. He goes for a Destiny Bomb. I'm going to Taunt right here because I know he's going to try to go for another Destiny Bomb. But unfortunately, he decides to just stay in and go for the Ice Beam. Does a huge amount of damage to me. I go for Brave Bur go for Brave Bat. 
I go for the brave battle on his right period, but it doesn't kill it. So I taunt him in case he tries to get a rocks, but he kills me a dragon tail. Go figure. See, I died of a dragon tail. I'm kind of upset because that was my main way to kill Verizion later on. And I bring in 24k as he brings in Frost. So let's go for the knockoff. I kill him with knockoff. So that's pretty funny. Now that he sees knockoff and Willow Wisp, he knows I'm a defensive Cathagoras set. He also doesn't have spikes up. So that's pretty good for me because now I can switch freely. Um, he switches inside too. He goes for a toxic on me. I um go for the shadow ball, does like about half his health, but he could just stall me out with roost and such, and it'll get annoying. So I go straight for Ombreon and I go for the heal bell as he goes for the U-turn to bring in Verizion to set up on me instead of straight in my face. And he's gonna reveal his physical Verizion as he goes for Swords Dance here, which is pretty threatening. Um he leaf blades me. Does a huge amount of ice beam him, it doesn't kill him. Because Verzion has somewhat good special defense even without investment. I should have fire blasted, but I didn't want to risk missing it. Because that would have made me mad. That would have made me really mad. So I bring in number one, my hair cross. And I go for a mega horn as he switches in Rhyperior. Mega horn's not very effective, and it does like one third to his Rhyperior. So I know he's like specially defensive. He has to be specially defensive. So it's good information to know. I go for the Willow Wisp. He brings in Zatsu and magic bounces the Willow Wisp back at me. Go figure. So he U turns on me, switches out, goes into Sharpedo again, and I knock off, and I knock off his life orb. Get that out of here. Now this is gonna make this is gonna matter so much later on. You're gonna see why. Later on, know that I knocked off his life orb. Know that. Now he goes for dark pulse as I bring in Ombre on. Um switches in Zatu here as I go for Heal Bell. And I feel like I know he's gonna switch in Verizion, because Verizion will always try to use Umbreon as set up bait. So I go for the Wish. And now, since I know he's physical, I'm always gonna bring in Cathagoras, no matter what, because that's the only way I've beaten off Verizion. He goes for a close combat on me, and since I'm a ghost type, it doesn't do anything to me. So he switches back out to Rhyperior's. I go for a Shadow Ball, hoping Zatu would come in or something, pretty thing with Willow Wisp, but it doesn't happen. So I go for Knockoff in case he tries to bring in Zatu anyway, but he goes for the Dragon Tail, it brings in number one, and. He switches out and I miss to take the close combat and I know it would have killed him because he's especially defensive even though he has solid rock or at least would have come close to killing him. Um, he goes for shadow ball on me. It doesn't do anything because I'm an ombre on, especially defensive. I go for foul play. I should have went for protect to heal back up but it's cool. It's cool. It brings in 24k with the dragon tail. So I will wisp him. I still miss. I'm tired of Willow Wisp missing, it's getting annoying. So I bring in number one, and this time I do a dumb thing and go for Night Slash. Like I'm gonna sleep talk over Night Slash now because I never use it. And every time I do use Night Slash, I fail. And look, I got OSX Crisis who got brought in. I was using Night Slash because I was breaking this Magis, by the way. But um, I get the special attack boost, and he must be scarfed or something. Well, nah, Miss Magius has like base 105 speed. Never mind, I don't know why I said that. I go for Thunderbolt, Prick, and Zatu to come in. I should have just kept spamming Ice Beam for real. Because, like, the only thing weak on this team, the only thing on this team that resists Ice Beam is Sharpedo, and I think it's Frill's death. So I don't know why I went for Thunderbolt. I got into that mentality where, like, I try to predict the opponent when I'm using moves and I'm about to die from Life Orb Recoil. So, I don't know. It was kind of dumb. Now, look. Know that I knocked off Life Orb on Sharpedo. Know that I knocked it off. I go for Protect. Heal myself up a little bit as he goes for Hydro Pump. Base 120, stab, special attack off 95. And look at that! I hang on with 1% just about as I get the Wish up. Use Protect to, cut, to make sure that I heal myself with Wish. And look at this. Look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. I'm serious, man. A foul play is Sharpedo. He's using a stab special attack with 120 base power, and I'm doing more damage with a not very effective foul play. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. So, I foul play as Miss Magius as I take the wish for myself. It doesn't kill it, but it's close. He brings in Zatu. I go for wish once more. And yeah, I pretty much got this clinch now because there's nothing he can do. U turns on my hair cross as I switch it in. Number one, you know. And there's like, I, there's no reason for Heracross to be here because I don't need him anymore for this battle anyway. So, yeah, he's got Sharpedo here who can't really touch me. If it was physical Sharpedo, he actually would have broken through me. But the irony, man, the irony is just unreal. 
That one little play turned this entire game around. Well, not turned the game around, but it saved the game and thus helped it to turn around. And look, he hydro punched me and I'm still hanging on like 1%. I could have protected to be saved, but I know I could have taken the hydro pump. So I just, you know, I'm gutsy like that. I'm crazy. I'm a crazy guy. Okay, no, but anyway, I'm just going clutch with Ombre on here. Freaking taking hidden power fightings off Miss Magius and just getting unnecessary critical hits off foul play as he has none but Zatu left. And what's Zatu going to do? He toxics me. I have synchronized. Now he's toxic himself. And I go for Wish to heal myself back up. I'm going to use... Oh, he gets the critical U-turn on me. Comes close to kill me, but I use Heal Bell. And I get the Wish back on myself, so... There's nothing you can do here. This is pretty much over. I go for Protect the Stall him out a little bit. And I'm just going to go for the Foul Play this next turn, obviously, because it's super effective and it really hurts him a lot. And, yeah, look at that. So anyway, this is it. This is it. That is good game, Vasis de Blau. I don't even know if he's going to see this video, but if he does see this video, I hope you're watching, man. He has a really good team here. I had to play around it a bit. That one little knockoff play saved this entire game for me. So I think I'm pretty proud about that. That's what made this battle worth saving. Like, it's the little things that count sometimes. People don't appreciate that. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, favorite on this beautiful Wednesday morning.